All right. And we are live here on the Dorgro show. Jason Hall here from Dorgro hanging out with Evan Savar from My Resident Link. How you doing, Evan? I'm good, man. Thanks for having me on today. I really appreciate it. Excited to have you. So, Evan, tell us a little bit about um about your background and about you yourself as an entrepreneur. And then I want to get into hearing about my resident link. Yeah, absolutely. So um, I am based out, out of the Las Vegas area. Been uh, been really, really interested in uh, entrepreneurial endeavors since I was about 16, 17 years old. Started doing uh, some product stuff. I invented a photo trophy when I was about 17 years old. Um, really worked hard a lot on uh, different types of kind of community building, different products and tools. And uh, about five years ago, I linked up with some guys. We created uh, Evanar, which was the first platform to do live streaming on Facebook. Uh, really cool concept, grew, grew the company, sold the company, um, was looking for something else to do. And because uh, of my background being passionate about creating communities, I grew up an Air Force brat. So I was always moving every two to three years. And really kind of discovered like it's really about, you know, everywhere I moved, we my mom had a saying that we would bring our community with us. So, you know, it's not really about the uh, the, the place that makes the person, but the person that makes the place. So really, really interested in, in communities as a whole and uh, thought that, you know, living in an apartment at the time, not knowing any of my neighbors, I thought, you know, what better way to create a community than through some, te- you know, piece of technology. And that's kind of with that idea set out to um, really create a tool that was beneficial for residents and, and apartment communities and condo HOAs. So um, that that's how we started. I've been working on that concept for about four years. Um, had a, you know, kind of typical entrepreneurial stuff. Had a, the idea four years ago, set out to build it, got a couple clients, um, really didn't like the, you know, partnership issues, had to kind of set, step back and develop it on my own and uh, met a new partner uh, and things, things are going great. I'm really happy with the, where the product's at, um, you know, the idea and now just really getting the word out about, uh, you know, in a really competitive space, what we're doing, why it's different and, and uh, you know, really trying to get the word out. So it's, it's exciting. You know, we have customers now that are seeing real results uh, with, with our product and what we're doing. Um, but you know, like anything, it's really competitive. So we really want to get the word out. Cool. So tell everybody what is my resident link? Yeah. So we've created, um, technology to be able to provide a property management mobile app for all properties within a portfolio. And so the idea is that, you know, if you're, if you're a property management company, that's our, our focus right now, and you have, you know, 500 apartments throughout the country, uh, each apartment is completely, each community is complete, run completely separate. Uh, and so how, how would we, if you wanted to create like a mobile app solution with, that works for each property, it's really a, before, you know, it's really a tough gig because you have, you know, there might be a property in Chicago and some things that are important to that property aren't important to somebody in, you know, Des Moines, Iowa, right? So how do you create a real custom app to provide value um, for, for customers across the country? So that, that's what we built. In essence, it's a flexible um, mobile app that you can customize based on your, your residents in your area. Okay, and will this work also for property managers that are managing a, a portfolio of single family homes? Like so in we, the geographic area? Yeah, so we're really focused right now with multifamily. We focus on communities that are like 150 units or less. But recently, we've just been hit up by a lot of people that have single family homes, and we have implemented a few apps for them as well. So that's definitely a market that we're going to start getting into a little bit more. Cool. As we understand, because completely different needs. So we want to make sure we really understand the needs, understand that resident specifically, and then we'll kind of build, you know, build, build on to, for that and really provide value there. Cool. And this will be a great platform for that. Uh, people will be interested because that's a big part of our audience are the single family awesome. property managers. Awesome. And so what they, um, 
what I was looking at your 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 website and I was trying to figure out, you know, how can my clients use this? And it looks like it really can facilitate some of the operational challenges that they have in communicating with tenants, right? Yep. And so what sort of results are people that are using this seeing that's different before they didn't have an app? Yeah. So, you know, they, they, look, the, the, I'm sure it's similar with the single family clients, but like these, these multifamily customers, their needs are all over the board and they have a lot of tech, pieces of technology that they're already paying for, right? They're using things like, you know, Intrada, Yardi, RealPage, proper, you know, mm -hmm. um, these tools that are pretty expensive, but that do a really good job at what they do, which is, uh, you know, to, to try to stay organized. Um, there's tools to help with social media management. Uh, there's tools with the, um, to, to help with the, um, you know, ref referral marketing stuff. I and mean, there's all sorts of different tools. So the idea is, you know, we wanted to bring all that stuff together. And so that that's kind of the idea is from a communication standpoint, um, all, every aspect of the app is completely customizable for the client. A lot of times they do use our communication platform. So that allows them to send a text message to all the residents, um, right? Their package maintenance stuff, just to be able to have communication back and forth one to one or one to all. So, um, so allows they can them do notifications through the app to every, everybody that's downloaded and installed the app. Exactly. And, and they can even, even a step further so they can also send text messages as well too. That is cool. So or, or emails, either one, any of them. So then what I'm hearing then, so for those that are, that are listening to this, um, then what you'd be able to do is somebody could open up this app for, you know, ABC property management or whatever. And on it, they could have, you know, submit a maintenance request, which then feeds into, you know, whatever maintenance company you're using, like super tenders or property meld or whatever. You exactly. could then have, um, you could have an icon there for, you know, anything related to, you know, uh, looking at your available listings, applying to, for yep. a property, and these kind of things could be linked to Appfolio or Propertyware or Buildium or exactly. Rentec Direct or whatever. Exactly. And, and even to take it a step further, Jason, so when we looked at, when I looked at building this product, right, the, the hard part is you have so many, not just a multifamily, but even, you know, like you're aware of the, these customers with single family property management, their needs are in, incredibly diverse, right? They're using so many different products. So to, to really create an all encompassing product and, and for it to be built in a way that's flexible and scalable for future growth, that's really what we focus on. I don't pretend to know, I don't know. I started this three years ago. I didn't know at the time anything about property management. So I didn't go into building the product like, okay, this is the solution and here you go. We built this product from listening to the real, you know, real customer feedback from residents, from executives, and from property managers, right? That so we understood, and the one thing we understood was we can't understand it all. It's it's so diverse, right? And so that's really from from building the product. It's actually it goes another step. So if you even have a prospective resident, we're able to display certain functionality in certain modules for a prospective resident than a than a real resident. So if there's somebody that's looking at your property and you go, hey, download our app they identify themselves as a prospective resident. So they're in our system. So now from a communication standpoint, you know, things like uh, filling out their, um, you know, uh, looking at floor plans, looking at the house photos, pricing, um, you know, if, if you have whatever software you're using um, to get your, um, you know, for your application. So now you can integrate all of that stuff and you can text message and send them notifications when they become a renter, now boom, they go to the, the, the part of the app where they're an actual renter and there's completely flexible functionality for them as a renter like you, you, you touched on, right? So now they're able to do, you know, they're able to incorporate all the tools that they're using into that side of the app. And it's com completely customizable by property or for, the, for that specific resident. That's really cool. So, um... So, so what are some, I'm sure property managers are doing some unique things you're seeing occasionally. They're pulling in some really unique stuff. So what, um, what are some unique things that you're seeing people plug into this? Yeah. So um, we've seen, we, we have a company, uh, really, really big property on the West Coast. Um, 
and they have eight leasing office uh, agents, just as an example, and they needed help scheduling appointments. They mm -hmm. didn't have any type of scheduling point. So we integrated with Calendly, which is a really cool email, uh, you know, scheduling system, right? So that's like just an example. We were able to pull in that information and then they were able to, uh, you know, be a lot more efficient. So as far as print, right? So we're able to, we have a property, um, Turnberry Towers, um, and, and they have the highest green globe rating across the country. And so they were able to actually decrease all of the uses of print for notif notices, notifications, and do it all through the app using our push notification and text message. Um, so that, that's, that was really cool. Um, we have other clients. I'm trying to think of really cool use cases yeah. that I've seen that's really neat. We have a client, a property, Warmington. Uh, they have 10 properties out of Las Vegas, and they created a resident perk, perks program. So if you take the app, they've partnered with local businesses. If you take the app to local businesses, you get discounts and deals for bringing the app and showing that you're a resident of Warmington. So it's a really cool way that they've found to partner up with local businesses and really become you know more part of the community. Um, we've seen people be able to book the clubhouse, incorporate, incorporate events and activities, which has been really cool. You know, I, that's kind of typical. I think, you know, most apps do the maintenance, the calendar of events and the pay rent, right? Yeah. At least in, in the industry I'm in. So I'm really interested in, in, in a lot of the other stuff. I've seen really cool things incorporating the software so that it automatically sends out, um, when somebody moves in because the systems are integrated, it automatically sends them a, a download link to download the app as part of the move-in process. Um, you know, some of the stuff like that, but really the sky's the limit. And so, you know, we've only been really live a year, so we're just starting to see people start to do really cool things and understand like the real value of what a tool like this could, could be. So it's actually really fun for me. I, I love seeing that stuff. So they could connect anything into this that will work in a mobile browser basically exactly. right into this app so yeah. they could they could they could integrate a really cool type form for something they yeah. could link that to zapier then and have zapier initiate some sort of automation yeah. they, the sky's the limit then exactly now getting, so, an, getting an app developed is incredibly expensive normally yep it's like insane like what do you have any idea what the cost i don't know but i mean you're talking like 10 15, 20,000 usually dollars minimum. Yeah, I mean, when, when, look, and that's the thing, when you're talking about the, to these property management clients, and I'm sure it would even be probably, probably the exact same for, for, you know, people that are, that are on here listening and stuff, single family, but it's, uh, it's crazy when, because when you start to talk about, it, it's never ending, right? So it's like, I have, you know, I have these 10 ideas that would be really cool for an app. And then it's like next week, you're like, well, it would be really cool if we could do X and Y. So, you know, maybe you start with 50 grand for an app and then mm -hmm. before you know it, it's like a three hundred, four hundred thousand dollar app to incorporate the communication, to be able to, you know, continue with the maintenance, to be able to add new integrations. So it doesn't even for a, a large apartment that's, you know, has hundreds and hundreds of properties, it doesn't make sense for them to spend the money to develop their own app. So what we're wow. offering is a way they pay us monthly really, really affordable based on the branding packages that we have. Mm -hmm. uh, and then they have their own custom app. So, so everybody listening is going to be wondering what does affordable mean? Cause yep. so what, can you give us some ballpark ranges here? Yes. So we, we charge per unit. Okay. Um, so we charge about a, a, about a dollar per unit. Okay. Okay. But it with scale and with a lot of units that, that price decreases a lot. That's, okay. that's what I'll say. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Great. <laughs> so, I mean, most property managers in the single family space, a lot of them are small. They're just getting started. They're under 50, 60 doors. Yep. And, um, it wouldn't make sense for them, but then you get, then what happens is a lot of them will break that hundred door barrier mm -hmm. and then they easily and quickly usually scale to about two to 400 doors units. And then if they can break that and that we're on a mission here at door grow to help a lot more break that barrier. And so, awesome. and then the two to 400 doors, um, range, that's where they really are 
that's where they have a legit business. That's where they have, they've kind of built a team. They've got some systems down, some processes in place. They're looking for how they can scale. And they would be looking into something, you know, like this to facilitate that. Now, I think the real, the, the real advantage of this tool is mobile, right? Mobile yeah. is just a huge advantage. People don't realize how glued to people, their phones, their phones are everywhere. If they don't have their phone with them at all times, they're freaking out. Now we have watches now, a lot of people that are telling them what the phone's doing. They, they say, Jason, they say by 2020 that 98% of people won't even use computers anymore. As far as like the, the, the average, you know, user that's just on their phone, right? Even me, you know, running a company, this is the first time I've opened my Mac. I mean, I'll do, you know, I have my team that'll do the Im implementation and the development, obviously. They yeah. But for me, you know, running the company, I'm doing a lot of the organization stuff. You know, my CRM is now a mobile app. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm working with people mobily throughout the, throughout the world, right? And I'm really using my phone for mostly, for mostly everything now, as it is, you know? Right. And, and on the tenant side, that's absolutely true. Right. I mean, they're, they're all right. over the phone. The phone is how you're going to connect with them largely. That's where they're searching. They're looking locally. They're on all these different apps, you know, if their perspective like Trulia and Zillow. And so mobile, mobile's huge, but mobile's going to be a big deal, I think, for property managers that are really able to have some space in the phone in order to connect with their existing tenants and residents to facilitate getting rent to getting them to take do the things they need to submit the maintenance request right. and to get and the advantage of having a system like yours would be that they can pick and choose and put together whatever they want. You bet. The biggest problem I see right now in the property management industry is that there's all these walled gardens. There's these closed there's no API. They're trying to they're these jack of all trades and masters of none and they really have like well they're the master of one. They have like one thing really going for them. Maybe it's the back office, for example. You're 100% you're right. And that's what's going on. And, and it's actually not just property management as a whole, as an industry. It's a lot. But this industry is even more antiquated and old school than like a lot of other industries. And, I, and it's funny because I see that all the time. There's, there's a company that has a really cool, like you can, you can open your door with an app. Mm -hmm. right? And then you have another company and that they do that really well. And then, and then they have, there's another company that, that does really good, you know, pay, payment system stuff, you know, mm -hmm. or another company that does like dry cleaning really well. So what you're telling me, I'm going to have to have 400 apps, you know what I mean? Right. And, and it's just not, and they don't talk to each other that, you know, it's, it's really hard from a resident to get, to get really, you know, involved in it because there's just so much going on where, you know, what if you could create something that kind of condensed everything together, right? Yeah. So if you could squeeze everything into to one physical app, one, you know, tangible app in the phone and the rest are connected through like web apps or through exactly. web pages that are mobile friendly, yep. that's going to make that that works so seamless and so well for a property manager. And it's customized based on their needs. You know, I mean, look, I they know th these property managers know their residents better than anybody does because they're dealing with them on a daily basis. They know what will improve their life, make their job easier. And, and it's funny because they're, they're smarter, even though they don't know they are necessarily from a, from a technology standpoint, they know what needs to be built. And so as they start to get in, in, interested in mobile and they start to implement technology, they realize, man, this is really cool, but we could save even more time if we did X, Y, and Z. And that's, that's where we come in to say, okay, you want to do X, Y, and Z. Well, if X, Y, and Z could apply to other, all these other customers, we're happy to help you build it. And, and um, usually most of the time, 80% of the time, it does make sense. Like what they want to do is something that a lot of other customers could find value in. Well, that's killer. And I mean, there's so many property management companies. And like you said, so many of them are really antiquated. A lot of them, I mean, especially in the multifamily space, but single family, they tend to be a bit more early adopter and a bit more tech savvy. And I think they will be a really great audience for you. I'm excited to see what happens after this show. So, but this will be, this will be really cool. So, um, so is there like a big setup cost then, or it's just a monthly? No. So let, so, so, and actually, you know, I, I'd love to have, some of your listeners and you really help. I mean, we, we haven't focused on single family really. 
you know, like I said, our focus has been on these large property management companies or small property management companies in the multifamily. Um, but I'd be really interested in, in understanding the, the customer a little more and working with you or, or you know, your audience to, to come up with some, some tests and some pricing that makes sense for you guys. I, even the user that's at 60 doors, I'd love to incorporate them and somehow have some type of this technology to be able to offer them to help get them to those 100, 200 doors, right? That makes that the pricing makes sense. I understand they don't have, you know, apartment, you know, a lot, a lot of money, but that that's the, the idea of this, this product is I want it to be accessible to everybody. Right. So, you know, maybe it, maybe it makes sense to do, you know, even at a dollar a door, if it's 60 doors, it, it could make sense if it, you know, if, if the, the development makes sense. Right. Absolutely. I mean, the biggest challenge for the property managers at the smaller size is time. And something right. like this, when they can connect and outsource to various firms and, and because they can't afford to hire usually at some of the right. smaller level and they're like solopreneurs. And so the advantage of this would be that they would be able to delay hiring by leveraging all these different technology platforms that are oh. available and incorporating it into this one central hub or that as if they are larger, they're able to be able to scale without throwing people at their problems, which we're right. big fans of throwing technology systems, processes, automation, all this stuff at a problem long before you start throwing people at it. But most people default to people. They're like, I need to hire. Right. So it's working right. Really well for them. I get it. I get it. That's, that's really interesting. That's cool. And a dollar's, a dollar of doors is very affordable for a tool that's, you know, going to, when they're, they're pulling in, you know, maybe a hundred in some instances, $200 per door a month. So. Yeah. Our, our typical um, setup cost is about the fir first month uh, payment t times two. So it, it depends though, because see, we have three different branding options right now. One option is we have the My Resident Link mobile app. That's our most affordable option. Mm -hmm. So if if the management company doesn't mind being featured in our app, our parent app, you know uh, that that's the most affordable price. Then we have we create a custom management facing app. So you know if if there's a as an example, Warmington, who's our customer, right? We create the Warmington app, and then there's a drop down of all of their properties just for Warmington. So the iPhone and Android icon are just for Warmington. Right. And then the third option is that we create some properties that are big. We have a property that has 20,000 units. Yeah. Uh, so that's a huge property. So they'll create a custom app for that property. And then they manage all of them on our back end. That's the most expensive option. So for, you know, for single family, it probably would make sense to be under the My Resident Link platform or kind of probably create a new platform just specifically for them where the user types in their address and then the property manager has access to that address. We can associate them and then they can start to push custom development to those users based on, you know, addresses, based on, um, you know, geographic parts of town or, or whatever their type of user or whatever they want. Um, and so that that way we could probably make the, the product affordable for people uh, in, in the space. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, some of these guys, uh, even though they're small, they sign up for like Appfolio and they're spending like minimum 250 bucks a month or 300 bucks a month or something. Right. Just, just to have this back. Just for that organization piece. Yeah. So, so, um, well, this is really cool. So anything else that people should know about my resident link? Any, you know, we're, we are, uh, love working with new customers. That's how we're building this product. We, we want to hear feedback um, from customers. We want to improve their, their operations, improve the resident experience. Anything that, uh, any feedback or ideas that you or any of your, the listeners have, we, we'd love to hear it. We'd love to hear it. So email me at uh, Evan, E-V-A-N, at myresidentlink.co. Um, anything you think that would, you know, Im improve the customer experience or imp improve your workflow, make it a little more efficient for you. Would love to hear it. There's no bad ideas. And uh, hopefully we can, we can bring some of that development to you, to you guys. Awesome. Well, Evan, I really appreciate you coming out and hanging out here on the door grow show with me. And uh, why don't you give everybody your website address again? Yeah. So our uh, website is my resident link. So it's M Y R E S I D E N C. Uh, MyResidentLink.co.com, um, and that's uh, come, come and check it out and call us or email me if you have any questions. Perfect. All right, Evan. Thanks again.
And uh, hey, you had mentioned in green room before this that you have a new baby. I do. Really excited. It was funny when I when I had the interview. I thought it was a call. So I'm obviously I'm working from home today. As you can see, I have a, a three week old baby, and uh, she, she's being a little fussy. So I decided to, to stay home and and help her out today. Uh, her name's Kennedy Rose, nice. and it was funny because I you know the, the you know entrepreneurial dream. I was sitting downstairs you know, without, without my shirt on, ready to do this call, eating cereal and real quick. And he goes, I go, it's not a video. And Jason goes, yeah, it's a video. I go, oh, hold on. <laughs> I had to That's run funny. upstairs and put the baby down. <laughs> awesome. Hey, can, is this your, is this your first? My first. Oh yeah. man, I've got four. I've got four. So congratulations. And having a kid changes everything, changes perspective. Yep. It, it just make it brings out the provider attributes in us, especially in the, us hunter entrepreneurs. We're like, right. we are hunters, right? And Crazy. so it brings out this protective side in us. And, and, and that, that's always a, a cool thing to see, especially daughters, man. Daughters change guys. So I've got three of those. So. Seriously. And, and Jason, I'd love to come back when uh, get some feedback from some more single family uh, types of users and, and uh, we have more custom solution for single family. I'd love to come on and, and show you guys what we've been able to do. Awesome. Yeah. And I'll, uh, I'll get you connected with some other companies as well. So anyway, awesome. uh, we'll end this and uh, thanks for coming out. Absolutely. We'll talk soon. Bye guys.